Essentially what this fungus does is it infects the insect and the insect will remain looking fairly normal. Then this insect's brain will start to be grown into by this fungus and the fungus will grab those controls and it'll tell the insect, move this way, move that way, go up there. This cordyceps fungus will quite literally force these insects to climb into great heights. And once they reach that point, they stop moving. You're like, what's wrong, insect or arachnid? What's going on? And then all of a sudden, the fungus spreads into the rest of the animal's body, pushing out of every segment, every component that it could possibly push out of. And it sends out these fruiting bodies where these spores come trickling down from those heights to land on more unsuspecting insects to start the process over.